Alright, so to make the braiding process easier, make sure that your hair is detangled. So just comb it and make sure everything is nice and neat. Then I'm going to do side parting, sticking with what I saw from the movie. She had a side parting. Now to start the braid off, you're going to take a section on the side of your head and then divide it into three, now right under the middle piece and then left under the middle piece. And then you're going to grab some hair for the right and left side and then repeat the steps. Alright, so it's going to be right under the middle and then the left section under the middle. And then you're going to grab some hair and put it on to the right and the left section and then repeat what we did before. Right section under the middle, left section under the middle. This is basically like a French braid but instead of weaving your hair over one another you're going to weave it under so it's a Dutch braid and it's a diagonal Dutch braid because you start it on one side of your head and diagonally um, weave it down to the other side. So that's like the only little trick here. Otherwise, it's really, really simple. I kind of had to practice this a couple times um, for the braid to come out nice and, and whatever, but I think just practice makes perfect. Also, um, in this demo, I actually have nothing in my hair. I just washed and air dried it. So I found that that was a little bit easier to Dutch braid compared to having um, any kind of products or like anything in your hair. Alright, so a little side note, my throat is actually killing me, so I'm sorry if I sound like I'm straining too much or whatever, because my voice is not doing so well tonight. Another thing, I recently entered for a little um, contest thing. If you like my entry, please vote for me. Um, it's just like a little outfit for spring, so yeah, I'll link it below. And if you want to stick to her, the Katniss look, you can just braid all the way down um, and then just tie it. And since I have thin hair, I kind of had to comb my hands through my hair a little bit because there's little gaps in my braid. Alright, so now here's the fun part. If you want something a little different, braid halfway and then do a fishtail braid. So you're going to divide into two sections and then weave it um, back and forth. There's actually a more detailed video of this which I will link below or in this video for you guys to see how to do a fishtail braid. It's really really easy. It's probably easier than a normal braid. Another thing you can do is curl your hair. So what we're going to do is add some heat protectant in the areas where you're planning to curl your hair like your bangs, the end of the um, braid where it's not braided yet. Oh yeah, and I'm going to pull some hairs on um, the side of my face to just frame my face and have little wispy hairs. Um, I kind of like that better than just, you know, neat looking hair, so I like that head. Now I'm just going to take a one inch curling iron and just curling my bangs a little bit. And it'll be like a pretty little wavy, spirally um, curl and then also the end of my braid. Also, I kind of like to pull out the braid a little bit to make it wider. I like it because it looks bigger and like more volumizing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I like to just kind of pull it out and you kind of want to start from the top to the bottom. Also, you can accessorize. I decided to go with like gold leaves or whatever because Katniss is kind of like a wilderness hunter kind of girl, so I decided to go with the gold leaves, which is all naturey and yeah, I'm bad at describing, I know. But so here's my final look. This is a more messy um, braid, and this is the neater one, so yeah. Alright, so hope you guys like the video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye bye.